Hello friends, my name is Steve and today in this very exciting Mission Media tutorial, we're we'll be taking a look at the basics of tracking some text onto an object inside Fusion Inside Resolve 15. This is a continuation of our 15 days of DaVinci 15 tutorial series, during which you can go over to MissionMedia.com slash products and get 15% off everything with the code RESOLVE15 typed in at checkout. So without further ado, we'll hop into Resolve and get started. Alright, so you can see I've already got this clip in our Fusion here. It's got some color to it. I was able to get the color in before the Fusion by making it into a Fusion clip beforehand. So just nice and basic color and some noise reduction because this shot was a little bit underexposed. So we're going to just track some text on, you know, following something and we'll give it, give it a little label like technology or something. So the first thing that we're going to need in this situation is a tracker. So pop in a tracker here and we can take our media output. And now you can see in our tracker, we've got a little tracker here. And what we do with this is we put it on a point of high contrast that we want to track specifically in an area that we want to track because I can't just, you know, put it on the background and have it track our object. It has to be on the object. So let's say this little little doodad here looks good. You know, whatever that is. Who knows? We can shrink this down a little bit just so this will go a little bit quicker. This internal box is what Fusion searched for whenever it tracks and this external box is where it searches for it. So the smaller both those boxes are, the faster your track will go. So... That's looking pretty good. And then we'll bring this down some. And then I'll save real quick. And we will track forward. All right. You can see it didn't give us the easiest clip here, which is pretty nice. So you can see at the beginning, this sort of freaks out a lot. But that's fine, because we're not going to bring our text on until, you know, we'll say frame 20-ish, when it locks on a little bit better. So we can even make that our render range by pulling this. Out. So now we'll start at frame 20. Excellent. So now we'll add some text to this. Talk base text and text plus. And now the immediate thought is to bring the tracker into the text and that'll move it, right? No, you have to bring the text into the foreground and then the tracker will do the operation and output the output. It's sort of like a merge node plus a tracker. So we've got this and we'll put something in our text like tech, tech, technology. Good old Ollie G. And if we view our tracker and our text, you can see that we're not getting much yet. And that's because we need to go into our tracker, go over to this section and change our operation from none to match move. And now you can see we've got our technology hanging on there. All right, now this doesn't have scale and rotation on it. The tracker does have that option if you use more tracker points. But this particular style of thing, I think it looks cooler with with it just tracking the X and Y. So I'm going to go ahead and move the text around, you know, there ish, we'll say it's fine. So that tracks with it. And then we'll add a little line to point to where the technology is. So add a quick little polygon here and a little underline and technology is right there. And we don't want this going into the text. We want this to be its own little thing. So one we will view this line. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. We're going to bring our border width up, be about there. Now we can merge these two nodes together. Let's drop that on there, drop this onto the foreground. See, so we need to adjust this around a little bit so it fits. There we go. It's looking pretty trendy already. And the last thing we need to do here is just pipe the output of our tracker into our media out and play it through and there you go looking pretty average so of course you can always animate this line on animate the text on and it'll be cool you can point out all sorts of stuff if you're doing product videos you can point out features which is super handy put your thing on a turntable spin it around have these things shoot out it's great it is a, a top-notch thing to know how to do agencies love it creative directors love it your mom loves it wink so, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you liked, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mission Media YouTube channel. We are still just grinding away on those 15 days of DaVinci 15 tutorials. I've been keeping it up. Aren't you proud of me? Also, while these 15 days of DaVinci 15 are going on, be sure to go to missionmedia.com slash products and type in the code RESOLVE15 at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Pretty good deal. We don't run sales like hardly ever. So, if you're thinking about buying stuff, now's the time to do it so you can save a couple bucks. Or I mean, you could just not type the code in and just, you know, pay more. That's fine, too. I won't, I won't be mad about that. 
Anyway, once again, I'm Matthew with Misna Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>